Welcome to the goals of the season for 96-97 for Leighton Orient Football Club. And the very first match of the season then saw Scunthorpe United visit Brisbane Road. And despite unveiling their new signings of Les Seeley and Alvin Martin, it was Scunthorpe who took the points when Phil Clarkson slipped this one past Les Seeley, 1-0 the final score. Next up on their visits, a first round, first leg tie in the League Cup at First Division Portsmouth. And it was Portsmouth who took the lead then when Dion Burton headed this one past the O's defence. And in the second half following this dreadful pass from Ian Hendon, the same player, Dion Burton, made it 2-0, the final score. Next up for Orient then, a visit to Lincoln City and uh, the riding seemed on the wall again early on when Gareth Ainsworth headed this run past Peter Caldwell in the Orient goal to give Lincoln a half-time lead. But in the second half, Orient would have come back with a wonderfully struck free kick from Ian Handon. A real cracker, this one. No chance for Lincoln City to stop that going in the back of the net. And Hendon's goal, the cue for some wild celebrations by the players. 1-1 the final score, and Orient got their first point of the season. One point was all it was to be from three games, though, as they uh, visited Carlisle United up in Cambria on the Tuesday night, the 27th of August. And despite some early pressure, Orient were to go home pointless. This clearance coming up from uh, Alvin Martin, leading to an offside decision. And from the resulting free kick, it's Rory D. Lab who latches onto this one to give the home side the only goal of the match. 1 0, the final score. Will Hull the Paul United were the next visitors on the agenda of the Brisbane Road. And in the bright August sunlight, it was Colin West who gave the home side the lead with a typical West header. Orient completely dominating this match and winning it finally two goals to nil when Tony Kelly got on the end of this one. A cross from Martin Ling. Bit of a scramble in the box. Hansen it was who squeezed the ball across and there was Tony Kelly again, 2-0 and the points in the bag for Leighton Orient. Well, following their first success of the season, Orient were at home again against Portsmouth. The only goal of the match then came when Colin West got in there but 2-1 on aggregate remained the final score to Portsmouth. Orion out of the League Cup at the first hurdle. Orion were home again on the following Saturday to Darlington, and it was a pretty dire afternoon for the spectators. Just very few goal-mouth scrambles to talk about and a very forgettable afternoon for everybody concerned. This probably the closest we came to a goal. An easy claim in the end for Les Seeley. Orient then went off on their travels to Northampton Town, scene of an away win last season, which was their first in two years, and they took maximum points again. This time it's Danny Chapman sealing the three points for the visitors. Well, it became two away wins on the spin, something Orient fans aren't very used to. Dave Hansen scoring his first of a brace against Mansfield here. Then in the second half, it's the same man again from West through ball. Dave Hansen makes the final score. Mansfield nil, Orient two. Well, Orient's purple patch faltered slightly as they took on Colchester United at a Brisbane Road. And it was Colchester who took the lead then when Robbie Reinald got in there. No real chance for Les Seeley and the Orient goal from that one. 
But it was a cue for Orient to make a great comeback in this match. They tried and tried, and the pressure finally eventually told on Colchester United. It was Justin Channing who eventually got on the end of this move to give Orient a share of the spoil. Throw coming out from Ian Hendon. It was Hendon's cross. And after a little melee there, and a punch from the keeper, and a miscue, it's off of the shins of Justin Channing. 1-1, the final score. Well, next up on the agenda, a visit to Rochdale and Spotlands. And it was Rochdale who took the points in this match following that trip and a converted penalty from Steve Whitehall. 1-0, the final score. Well, Swansea City, the next visitors to Brisbane Road. And Dave Hanson, in short, they went home pointless. Ian Hendon charging through. There's the cross. There's Dave Hanson. 1-0, the final score but it was for Orient's last win for several matches. Well, the next match up for Orient was an away trip to Doncaster Rovers, and the home side were to take the points. First of all, Colin Cram gave Doncaster the lead. Following a great save there, there was Cram close in to follow up. Well, 1-0 became 2-0 in the second half, as Leicester got in there. And despite a late consolation from Orion Same Arindi, the final score was to remain Doncaster's 2, Leighton Orion 1. Well, Hull City were the next visitors to Brisbane Road, and despite the away fans protesting against their current manager, it was Hull who made the early run-in. Brian gets in here from the cross back in to give Hull a first-half lead. Orion weren't to be denied though, and it was their skipper, Dominic Naylor, who was to provide the, the saving goal and a share of the spoil. Joe Baker's ball in. A real melee that, and would you believe the referee actually didn't see the handball on the line. But following a consultation, across with the linesman or were to get what they deserve the penalty it seemed at the time that the referee was the only person who didn't see the handball and in fact question marks afterwards as to how Hull were left with all 11 players on the pitch the linesman though quite sure he knew what happened Orion getting the penalty and it would be Dominic Naylor who strokes it home, 1-1 the final score. Well, following the 1-1 draw there with Hull, it was Chester who took part in one of the dourest matches of the season at Brisbane Road. This, the closest we came. second half to find a breakthrough but it was just one of those nights where nothing would go right for any of the players on the pitch final score Orion nil Chester City nil well uh, Orion were away to Hereford United on the Saturday at that time of the season of course Hereford didn't know what terrible fate awaited them and Gary Stoker gave them a first-half lead. Well, 1-0 was to become 2-0. As Dean Smith, now with Late Orion, of course, got in there. Final score, Hereford 2, Late Orion 0. Well, the pressure was very much on manager Pat Holland as his team visited Cardiff City. It was to provide 
the last match for Pat Holland as Orient manager, and it really was a woeful afternoon for Leighton Orient. Comprehensively beaten here. White gets in for a trip there, a little pull, and will get the penalty. 1-0. One nil became two nil as Garner latches onto this. And things beginning to go from bad to worse for Leighton Orient. Carl Dale will make it three nil and the axe will firmly fall on Pat Holland's head at the end of this game. So caretaker boss Tommy Cunningham took over for the visitor Scarborough and despite an improved performance from Leighton Orient, they were to get nothing out of this match. Ball cleared out of the defence. Across to Andy Ritchie, former older man, of course. And in steps Thompson. 1 0, the final score. Well, then Orion were at home again against Torquay, and Tommy Cunningham's final match in charge as caretaker boss. And Carl Griffiths saw him on his way with a goal to give Orion all three points. Mistake at the back, 1-0, the final score. Well, Tommy Taylor from Cambridge United was appointed manager. His first match saw him go to St. James's Park, Exeter. It was to prove a pointless visit, though, as Exeter took the lead through Bailey. Orion struck back through Griffiths. Exeter went back in front with Fleck. A Arindi look to have saved the point for Late Noin with a spectacular effort. Only for Liam Braithwaite to step up with a last gasp winning goal for Exeter. 3-2, the final score. Well, a break for league action then for Leighton Orient as they took on non-league Merthyr Tidville in the first round of the FA Cup. And it was the non-leaders who took the lead when Evans scored an early goal. It looked like it could be one of those days for Orient. They tried and tried but couldn't find a way through some really good Merthyr defending. Then they made a late substitution. On came Sammy Winston, and following a goal mouse scramble, it was Winston who was to hook in Orient's equalizing goal and turn the tie. Yeah. Merthyr still looking forward to a replay, but Colin West was to have different ideas with a late goal that would see Orient through to round two. Free kick swung in there from Hendon. This Colin West to poach home Orient's second and winning goal. 